After understanding the basics of the complementary function in a second order differential equation, now let's talk about the three cases that can exist, out of which the first one is the distinct real root case, which is definitely dependent upon the discriminant that appears in this quadratic formula that we use in the calculation of the roots, which is based upon the characteristic equation. So you can remind uh, yourself about the last video, the content in it, and it will help you to see that this formula actually is the formula of the characteristic roots, which is based upon this characteristic equation. Now R1 and R2 were found to be the two roots of this characteristic equation, which is quadratic in nature. And this discriminant part, which was b square minus 4ac in the standard form of the quadratic equation can give rise to three types of roots. One is the distinct real root case, other is the equal real root or repeated real root case, and the third one is complex root case. So we are talking about the first one here, in which the discriminant is positive. Now let's see that what three cases can exist. We are considering all three possibilities here. That is, if the discriminant value here, in this case with the um, very, uh, with the values of a1 and a2, will be either greater than zero, equal to zero, or less than zero. And when this happens, we can say that it is a positive value, and then uh, we can shift the minus 4a2 term on the other side, and it will become positive, and it will become the distinct real root case. Contrary to that will be case 2 where it will be equal to 0 and when we shift minus 4a2 to the other side it becomes positive. So in this case these two values will be equal. Repeated real root case will be this and the case third would be when the discriminant value is negative and shifting this value makes it positive that and it gives us this expression that a1 square is less than 4a2. So this is the complex root case. This one is uh, bold uh, and, the, and the reason is that we are going to study the distinct real root case. Here it will be greater than zero and when we put these values, we know that once it will be added and the other will be the subtraction part. Therefore, addition will give us the uh, first root and subtraction will give us the second root. And both of them will be unequal, that is R1 will not be equal to two uh, R2 because once the terms are being added and the uh, second time it, they are being subtracted. So 2 plus 3 and 2 minus 3 cannot be the same. So 2 and distinct roots will be there. So complementary function is there and this is the uh, first part and this is the second part y1 and R y2 because there are two roots so we made two parts of the complementary function r1 and r2 they are not equal in this case because they are distinct let's solve this with the help of a numerical example uh, before we do that we know that we have to find out r1 and r2 and then put them in the complementary function equation now this is the differential equation which are which is to be solved and we are given the initial condition in its original form and its derivative form so comparing the second uh, standard form of the second order differential equation with the given form, uh, given equation, we can get the values of a1 and a2 and b. We have done similar exercise when we solved yp in the previous videos. Now the very first thing is to assure that we are dealing with DDR or any other DRR or any other case, equal real root or complex root. So putting the values of a1 and a2 will tell us that which one of the cases is being dealt with. So a 9 is greater than 0, it means that we are dealing with the distinct real root case. So we have to apply the quadratic formula on this characteristic equation. And these are the steps that you can easily handle because this is the quadratic formula. And simple algebra will give you r1 and r2 they are 1 and minus 2 which are real as well as unequal. So we will put the values of the roots in the complementary function um, expression and here we are R1 and R2 are being substituted and we will get this as the general solution. 
and we can add the particular solution in order to make it a complete solution that is complementary as as well as the particular integral will give us the general solution now this is general solution we can also try to get the definite solution and for that we remember that we uh, substitute t is equal to 0 so putting t is equal to 0 here will allow us to solve it so you can see that t is replaced with 0 and uh, when we have y naught it means that it is 12 this is that uh, solution on the right hand side so simple algebra will give us an equation which is in terms of a1 and a2 so still we don't have the values of a1 and a2 so um, we can uh, come up with another equation in terms of a1 and a2 that is possible once if we use the other initial condition which was y naught uh, y bar naught so for y bar naught we need to have y bar t where in place of t we can put 0 and use that initial condition in its derivative form so we do not have y bar t we can get y bar t if we use this y t and take its derivative so we will take the derivative of y bar y t in order to get y bar t. So uh, the same thing is mentioned here that we have two unknowns and we have y t. We can find y bar t and then substitute t is equal to 0 in order to get y bar naught, the value of which is available. So this is the process of taking the derivative of the given function which you can do easily so pause the video and do it now once we have y bar t we can put t is equal to 0 in it and here we have done this by doing this we have found the um, y bar naught and um, the value of it is also given it's minus 2 so this is how it works and this is that equation in terms of a1 and a2 that we can simultaneously solve with the last equation this one to get the values of a1 and a2 which are the two unknowns in this couple of simultaneous equations so here we are going to solve these equations simultaneously this is the first equation this is the second equation again this is simple algebra that I expect you can handle easily to get the values of a2 and a1 and we have found these values by putting these values back into the general solution we can get the definite solution in which a is that is a1 and a2 they are now definitized so this is the definite solution of this second order differential equation that was given and in this case the distinct real root cases the distinct real roots were dealt with and this was the case and this is how we can find the uh, complementary function of a second order differential equations with uh, the distinct real root case in this next video we will learn about the real roots uh, repeated real roots or equal real roots thank you